Gilead works with organizations in the Bay Area to launch programs that help improve access to care by eliminating barriers and advancing education. Joining us now is the CEO of one of those organizations, the East Oakland Youth Development Center, Selena Wilson, along with Deborah Wafer from Gilead Sciences to discuss their partnership. Ladies, thank you both so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thanks thank for having us. Yeah, thanks yes, for having us. Of course. I'm so excited to talk about this particular partnership. And when it comes to partnerships with Gilead, specifically, Deborah, I'm going to throw this one to you first. Yeah. Why are partnerships so important to Gilead? Well, Gilead, what we believe, it takes more than medicine, right, to deal with illnesses and to deal with issues that are happening in the community. And we want to be partners with folks who are talking to young folks and helping to build community. So we are looking for partnerships like this so that we can continue to be a part of the growing community that we are in. Wonderful. And for you, Selena, when it comes to this partnership with Gilead for the East Oakland Youth Development Center, why is this partnership so critical for the youth and the community and the community? Absolutely. So one of the things that I often tell funders is that at EOYDC, we're really looking to build relationships. And as important as the funding is, because we do offer all of our programming at no cost to the families that we serve, the relationships are also key. Mm -hmm. And so what we're often asking our funders to do is to move from a mindset of charity to solidarity. And I think Gilead is a really stunning example of what it looks like to really transcend that, mm -hmm. that just writing of a check mm -hmm. and ensuring that in addition to providing funding, we're providing opportunities for our young people to connect and build relationships with folks in wonderful careers who've had the opportunity to explore all kind of aspects of STEM and all of the support functions. And you add to that the opportunities that it creates for our young people to gain additional mentorships and all mm -hmm. of those kind of things. And that is why these kind of partnerships are important. It really does take a village. Mm -hmm. It's a cliche for a reason. It, yeah. it, like you said, it, it happens for a reason. People yes. say those things for a reason. And when yes. it comes to Gilead and this specific partnership, what steps is Gilead taking to ensure that these programs are, are going up off the ground and helping the youth? Well, we're not just a one-hit wonder, right? We come into a relationship for long periods of time so that we can build on those relationships and also so that children in the community can see people like me, quite frankly. Yeah. You know, people like me and wonder, like, so what does she do? How does she do that? And those are the kinds, if the, you don't see it, you can't be it, right? That's true. And so it's really important for us to be partners, but also be in the community mm -hmm. and be where people can reach out. And, you know, we really want to make sure that people understand what some of the health disparities are. And some of these health disparities can only be addressed by people who live in the communities and can translate some of the science for folks that are in those communities. And when it comes to being in these communities and being a part of these programs, you, Selena, actually were the youth at one point who was involved in the East Oakland Youth Development Center, and now you are the CEO. So for you, what was that experience like and how critical was it growing up? Yeah, that's right. So I actually started out as a participant at EOYDC when I was just four years old. I started out in the West African dance class. That's so crazy, four yes, years old. It's surreal every day, <laughs> especially just having the keys to all of the yes. rooms, right? Four-year-old Selena would never imagine yeah. that I'd be able to unlock all of the rooms. I bet. It's funny what little kids, right, are excited <laughs> about. Uh, but that being said, I, you know, really relied on the center as an extension of family all mm. throughout my life. So from the age of four, throughout all of my schooling, into grad school, mm -hmm. into the different career paths that I took that ultimately led me back to, to be in the position to steward the organization, mm -hmm. I really have to credit all of the folks across the EOYDC community and those that by extension kind of supported the center in creating that ecosystem mm -hmm. that really allowed me to flourish. And I think that's what it is at EOYDC. Mm -hmm. We don't just focus on one area of development or one age group or one area of programming. What we're really trying to do is create an ecosystem mm. of support that cultivates leaders. Yeah. And one of the things that we yeah. say is that our young people are not just the leaders of tomorrow, they're the leaders of today. Yeah. And so we intentionally build in what we call cascading mentorship that gives young people meaningful leadership roles mm -hmm. while they are still in school. And that's so important too. We need leaders, not like you said, not just for tomorrow, but for today too. Right. So I have to ask, what's next for the center? 
Yeah, that's a really great question. <laughs> um, and there are so many different wonderful things that we have cooking. One of the things that we have cooking as it relates to our young people and yeah. partnerships that we have with folks like Gilead is that we're expanding our work-based learning program to include more externship uh -huh. opportunities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So looking to work with folks like Gilead mm -hmm. to pair young people with professional mentors and job opportunities as they're coming back from college in the summer so that they can explore different careers of interest. Yeah. And starting even at a younger age, like our middle school students, how can we get them to do job shadowing visits and those kind of things? Because as Deb said, when you see all the different possibilities, and it really expands your horizons, absolutely. Yeah. And the idea that even if you're not really interested and keen on the hard sciences, right. mm -hmm. There are folks that are running all kind of aspects behind the scenes at Gilead, yes. right? And so yeah. giving that exposure, opening those horizons, building those relationships means so much. Yes. Another thing that we have going at EOYDC that I think is essential and was helpful to me as a young person is that we have our Pathway to College and Career Program that raises scholarship money to support our young people in pursuing higher education. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so one of the things that's very exciting this year is we'll be holding our second annual Black Features Ball. Amazing! Yes, with a STEM theme. So we'll be at the Chabot Space and Science Center. Okay. Going to do kind of a museum takeover. It's going to be an opportunity for folks to come out, support, have a great time, hear some of the stories of our scholarship recipients, and as we say, party for a cause. Yes. I love that. Yes. Anytime yes. you can party, especially yes. for a good cause, right? Yes. Yes. So when and where is this event happening? Yeah, so it's going to be the first Saturday Saturday in August okay. at Chabot Space and Science Center. Mm -hmm. Those are our partners. They're actually going to be sponsoring the venue. It's going to be a great fun time. The exhibits are going to be open to everyone. And we're going to really transform the space. It's going to be magical. And last year, we were able to give out $150,000 in scholarship wow. funds alone, wow. in addition to over $300,000 in stipends wow. to our young people through internships. And so we're looking to match or pass that this year. Hoping that we pass it, right? That's yes. right, for sure. <laughs> That's right, for sure. Well, Deborah, sure. Selena, thank you both so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. It sounds like this partnership is doing some big things in the community. So Absolutely, so and it's, yes. we're just gonna keep right. building. Yeah. And I really do hope that folks out there watching are inspired and know mm -hmm. that whether you are a global entity like Gilead mm -hmm. or a small business or an entrepreneurial endeavor, you can reach out and be a part of the village. Right. You, right. Can, you can have that kind of impact and ripple effect in right. young mm -hmm. people's lives. You right. can, you absolutely can you do absolutely it. Just takes that can. first step. It yes. takes that first step. And we, it's all about impact, right? It's mm -hmm. all about impact and changing lives and impacting the community. You know, I think health is, if you don't have health, you don't have a lot of things. And I think that's one of the things that Gilead is focused on. Wonderful. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today and just spreading this message and helping the community. We right. appreciate it so much. All right. Thank, thank you so you. much. Of course. All right.